Okay, so this is uh, a review of the electrical vehicle, the EV sector, um, for March 11, 2021. I guess the most important thing really is, let's just talk about the markets first, and because this is what's driving a lot of these sectors right now. Um, we see that the SPY did trade to a nominal new high today, all-time high. Uh, pulled back. I mean, it's up. What did I say? I think it's up five, six point two percent or something like that, or it was up six point two percent from this. The, you know, the buy the dip down here, where Fed Chairman Powell and Secretary Treasury, the Secretary of the Treasury uh, Yellen, said buy the dip, and uh, boom, six percent move off that low. Now we will find that uh, there is some resistance up in this area because it's a double, I mean, it is, you know, all-time highs. But I think it's going to continue to go. I think, and the reason I'm talking about the markets before we get into the EV, because this is very important to keep stocks going. You need to have the market strong. And here we are. We see that the Dow closed up 0.6%. It did trade to all-time highs, and then the transportation also traded up to all and up to and closed at all-time highs. This is huge for markets. This is a big buy signal for markets. So, um, you know, let's uh, let's make hay while the markets, you know, run like this and get aggressive on some of these stocks. Because they all had some huge, huge pullbacks. Now, the key uh, component of the EV, or I guess the quintessential EV stock, is Tesla. Um, and you know, I was quite bearish on the Tesla here, and rightly so. I had this big triple top perhaps a head and shoulders pattern, broke the neckline, got into this big declining tops line, or channel. And I had said that this was a, uh, a one, two, three, four, but the, what's happened now is this has bounced out of this uh, declining channel and is now back over the 20 moving average and it's up against the 50. So if this is, you know, this was a well. It, 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 you can't really see this as a five-wave pattern move up here because this is a, this is the first wave move up. But this retrenchment is far too much, so that's that's no longer valid. But let's just look at this at uh, from this point of view of this chart here, this downtrend. Uh, it did hold the support at the bottom of the channel and and around 550 support, which was here held that support bounce. So this is a V bottom. Maybe we get a right hand extension in here and we might see that in the rest of the EV stocks. But with the market so strong, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see this go. I mean, this is going to be, this isn't the new way. What were they saying? I read 40% uh, of all stocks in the next, or not stocks, 40% of all vehicles in the next five years are going to be electric. And, the, and as a matter of fact, the electric cars are going to be less expensive than their comparable uh, combustion engine car. And significantly so, the, the, they were saying that the Toyota Camry will sell for around 25000 or 28000 And the Toyota Camry electric car will be priced in around eighteen. That's a huge, huge incentive for people to own electric vehicles. So let's have a So the quintessential one, of course, was the Tesla, and it looks like it's broken out. And then I think the next, the next big one is um, Neo. And this is the same kind of chart pattern. This was a three-way move down. It has broken out of that. Now it is not over the twenty yet. And there's the 50. So this does have some resistance for it, but we put a swing on this because I think this is your, you know, this is going to be a V bottom right hand extension as well, or maybe just a V bottom and away it goes. 
this looks good. The Neo. Uh, the other Chinese stocks, XPEV, is not ready. And the LI is the same. This is exactly the same chart. These stocks are still bearish. They haven't they haven't turned the corner yet. Um, some of the other stocks, uh, the the electrical vehicles, this green power, this is just range bound, and not much range, twenty two to thirty three, so nine dollars, but it is mid channel right now. So you know, I mean, you wouldn't have wanted to buy this because we didn't know if the EV stocks were going to turn around. So we don't know if that was a good buy on the support or not. But now we see that the EV sector is turning around, but this is mid-channel. So maybe if it pulls back and holds the, holds the support, it could be a trade in there for us. Some of the other ones, this NGA, I think, oh, I'm going to get the other one. Uh, NGA here, uh, Northern Genesis, SPAC. This is still in a bearish trend. This has not changed the corner yet. And we see that the 20 is crossed the 50 there. This is not this is not ready to go yet. So we're not going to look to do anything with that. The other one I think that's very important though is this CCIV. I did put a swing on this. And the chart itself is bearish. This is in fact a bear f flag. <clears throat> So perhaps I'm anticipating a move, which is sometimes not, well, most of the time is not a good idea. But, you know, I trade with conviction. Uh, I, I think that this is going to be in competition with Tesla. You know, there's a lot of hype over this stock, lots of news. It's going to attract a lot of attention, especially if the EV sector starts to go. So I did put a swing on this. It is over the 20. It does have key resistance here. At the 27 and a quarter. Uh, if it can get through that, then you know this trades up to 35, 42, and then it fills the gap up here at 50. So there's a lot of hype on this stock. I, I think it, it, it I may be a bit aggressive, it might be a bit early on it, but I think it goes. So we'll see if I'm right on that or not. A couple of the other ones were the, the one is this uh, uh, FUV. Uh, this has broken out of this declining chop line here. This could be a V bottom right hand extension. Does need to get through 20. Uh, if it can, then we look at 24, 33, and 36. The one that I missed to talk about earlier was this EZGO. This is electric scooters in the Middle East, in the Far East. So maybe, you know, this is a, could be an inexpensive one to trade, but not yet. It needs to get through this level 750. Maybe more, maybe this is a better level 8. Let's watch this through 8. Uh, let's see, there was a few others, RIDE, this was a SPAC, triple topped at 30, this is an ugly chart, there's no nothing going on there, SOLO, it's not ready either, it's still bearish, it's not ready to go yet, and then Workhorse, uh, I think this is electric buses, or trucks, not buses, but trucks. And they they were shut out of that, the United Postal Service, uh, the US Postal Service contract and sold off super sharp, but there's talk about political interference to try and get it back. So it may still go here. This is double bottomed in here. I mean, this needs to get through 18. We'll maybe look to 
put the swing back on, but there's a lot of overhead resistance for that stock now. Uh, that's the workhorse. Some of the other stocks uh, that are involved in this now is the, uh, the, the you know, suppliers like Plug. This plug is broken out of this declining ch channel line here. It's right up against resistance at the 48. This is the 20 day and the 50 day moving average. It's broken out. You know, it, maybe if it pulls, it'd be stronger if it pulled back and made it a reverse head and shoulders pattern and then went. But, you know, we may not, it may not give us that luxury, so we may have to take it. Uh, we'll watch it over 48. And see if it goes. I th this plug is the chart is looking, it's looking good actually. I think this could go, but we'll, we'll, we'll watch it closely. Uh, the other one in that sector as well is the blink. This is also broken out. Uh, I'm gonna watch this. I think blinks. Well, this is a lot of overhead resistance for it here. We're gonna watch this maybe through the 43. Blink looks good, but there's a lot of overhead resistance for it here. It has broken the declining tops line, popped, you know, it's at the 50 and the 20 moving average. So we'll see if that goes there. Now Blink, uh, and the other one is Plug Blink and Fuel Cell. This also has broken out. Now the 20 never actually did cross the 50 there. This is a good looking chart. Uh, it does have resistance at 21. 25 and 29. I think fuel cell is probably a, a, uh, a swing in here. Uh, let's see, fuel cell. Which ones haven't I gone over yet? Plug. Oh, and then there's the uh, the auto, some of the auto suppliers. This QS. I'm not sure about this one. You know, it, it's super volatile. I mean, this thing traded to 132 and pulled back to 41. You know, nearly 100 points, 90. That's a you know that's a seventy percent pullback, not quite seventy percent, just underneath sixty eight point three seven. Um, so it is in this declining you know if it pops through this declining channel line tops line it, you know it's making a descending triangle. Uh, it, we could see it run up to the seventy range. So and it does move. It has big, big, big uh, swings to it. So we'll keep a close eye on QS the chart is range bound but maybe it's gonna maybe it's going to go uh let's see qs oh and then the, there's the um the lithium stocks this is still bearish and lthm also bearish i think that's about it this gives you a good review of the of the ev stocks